Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to a new video tutorial on the series of learning Electron. So if you haven't or are new to the channel, to the series actually, make sure to watch out the last one because we've done getting started and we've explained what is Electron and why we need it as, as we are like a web developers or full stack web developers. So basically Electron is uh, making desktop applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's cool, I know. Anyway, let's just jump right into our code. So in the last one, we've covered a couple of things, like we've created the main JS, we've started the Electron application, like we've created the window, and we have showed up, or we have like showed up the index.html in there. We have rendered it out, and we've put it just Electron up in here. I don't know, maybe we can put another one in here, like uh, not an H, so maybe like an H2 and hello world, why not? And you can just render anything like pages using index HTML. So now if I run npm run start, so you should see your electron window pops up with the index.html page. So if you're intending to use different page, make sure to layer it in here. So if you go to through this code, like create the window, here, what it does actually just create a browser window and this browser window is Chromium window. So it just created then it uses that handler and just reloads a real, uh, a URL and that URL is in the file. You can use HTTP protocol for reloading like a web page, like from the from the web, or you can use like a local file as we do in here for our index.html. So we just do path.join, we're using our path module and we use distribution index.html. You can put your custom file in here. So this is how basically Windows creation is working. And like there's two type of things on Electron, like the basic Electron application. There is a main process and there is a renderer process. So they are completely different things, completely separate process. So they, you cannot like interfere from the render process and just join or get data from the, uh, from the main process till you use some kind of an IPC. So IPC that allows you to send events from the main or from the render process back and forth to exchange data between both processes. So that's why we need to use this IPC because the main process is going to run when the, the application actually runs. So as you can see in here, we have the electron. So the main process is going to start the window, create the window, create this toolbar, and it's actually a platform independent thing. So, so we're just going to call it, for example, when Windows is in here, it's just going to call Windows API and create the window, create everything in here. If you're Linux, create Linux, Windows, if you are Mac, it's using the Mac API and so on and so forth. So this is the main thing. And for the render, what we see in here, this is our render thing. So they actually complete different things and we need somehow to interfere between both of them. So what we are going to do actually is create a window here. So we're gonna create a, a, a like, when we, create, when we push a button, we wanna create a window. So that we're gonna use it on our render.js and here like this is like main render and make sure to include that under your index.js. HTML. So just go down here and make sure to require this. So just add a script tag and do require as normal requiring on, on Node.js and do require since you are in the distribution folder. So we need to go back once and go to enter the SRC, then forward slash, then render.js. This should require the render.js and make sure to require this last the last thing so this should be the last thing or the last line on your index.html or any other html file in here because it, it, it won't know about this element's existence in here so if you want to use like editing the dom in here and for the render actually all we need to do or before that let me just create a button in here so we can call it dev and class i don't know i don't think i'm using bootstrap here but it's not a div, so let me just call this a button. I don't know why I have just used div. So button, and it can be like this. And let's just call it button, let me just give it an ID so we can reference that in our JavaScript. So let me call my button, my BTN. So in the render.js, we can just require jQuery. Make sure to uh, install jQuery, I have jQuery in here. So what is jQuery actually? I have a jQuery, so we need to install jQuery. Let me just do that npm install jQuery. So just do npm install jQuery. Or you can use the, the like the native vanilla JavaScript, so the native thing without jQuery. So let me just do that the native way btn equals uh, documents.get elements. 
if you are familiar with that so i suppose you are because you're a web developer so uh get my btn by id so my btn this should return the button and we can just do button dots uh text or html or in html so uh i don't know hello world so that should do the job for us now we should like run npm run start it should start the application for us and we should see a window pops up so uh, yep a window and and we should see hello world in here so we make sure like everything is working requires working everything is working now we need to get the event on the push button so like btn or documents dot add event listener and the event listener is click and make sure to not, not actually in the dom so we need to add the event listener under the uh, button so btn add event listener and we need to on click so the click event listener then the handler so i'm gonna use just esx syntax in here to like use or do the event listener and here there's the event and i don't know maybe uh what we want is when we create that we want to create a window so to get the window from we need to get it from main j dot js that's why i was talking about the process of the main and the render process so like completely different things but electrons offer us like a remote thing an ips you can learn this but more from this on google uh, what is an ips so it allows you to exchange data between the main process and the render process so to use that just require do um import i believe so import uh you can import dialog but i'm gonna import remote i don't think it just works like this so so let's okay electron or remote let me call it remote so equals require and here we are going to i don't know why i can't type requiring so require electron dot remote so here we are getting the remote handler then from the remote we can access anything that can be accessed into the main js like we are accessing this one here so we can do uh, another one like let's remote or let's this is gonna be like a window so or we can get remote dot browser window or browser window and here like we create just a new window and reload our url so i've created a function in here like if you go scroll the way down you're gonna find export create window from the module itself so when you call this module create a new window it just gonna pops up create a new window call or create an instance of the browser window with a configuration gonna be passed in from the parents parents window and also the model and we set here the parents window and we just do as normally think like reload url from file thing and i'm reloading a page which is like the variable in here you can call any custom page in here so we can create another one like custom page.html and let me just go ahead and create using html boiler palette so html and we can call in in here like h1 this is a custom page so yeah simple as this so in order to know what is the custom page or our main page and here we can layout it so let me just copy this code in here you can use this function feel free because it's in, in the github so go to the github i'm gonna grab this function in here and let me go to the render.js and just create that new window calls browser window well we don't have the browser window but we have new window so or we can just do remote symbols this browser window so remote browser window gonna access that any window and use the page since the page is not so let me just call distribution and in the distribution we're gonna call a custom page.html so symbols that this should when we click a button we should get a window so let me just run npm run start 
and yeah we should see some a button when we click on it we should see a window so this kind of kind of events working if you want more advanced event system triggering thing you can use jquery as i've said and start using npm very simple and hello world but we're not getting anything so you can hopefully electron give us the debugging like the dev tools chrome dev tools so just go to the view up here go to toggle developers tools and you're gonna see the chrome dev tools if you are familiar or if you if you're familiar with chrome dev tools you've been working on it or something like this so you can just get it right here and check out the console config is not defined html button button dot html so here we are having something that the config is not defined so we can define our configuration in here like the width so let me just grab this one from from the main.js so what is this configuration is setting the width and height so go into the default thing width and height you can set it anything so i'm just gonna sit into this custom thing uh width and height so changing the object also the parent you can set it into the main window parent for now i'm not and the model we're not gonna use a model here so just make it simple clear let's delete this one and let's get rid of this one so here it should looks fine all you need to do is reload not restart the whole application just view reload or you can control r to reload everything hello world and boom we get a brand new window out here so as simple as that as you can see we are getting in here so for some reason let me just go back over here so uh, for some reason we're not seeing that so we're not seeing our uh, html page dev tools the oh, because yeah okay okay so we're not seeing our page in here like the custom page.html so like it's not referencing correctly so let me just check out this for a second uh we are doing it in here like the dear name directory so let me just do that check in with the index.html just refresh and click the button again all you need to do is refresh hello world but yeah is url is not defined okay why url is not defined let me just check out um path name url formats okay something is wrong in here so let me just check out the url like copy pasting is can be very very dangerous if you don't actually know what are you copy pasting so url is actually a url modular i'm not importing in here i should import in here so cost you acquire url and this is like a standard modular from npm or node.js just refresh now it should work fine hello world we should see our page but we are not so path is not defined as well so let me just require path again i'm sorry this guys but cost or path make sure to get the standard or require your standard uh, modules in here before start working like the path the url the fs or the file system all of them like must have things and we're still not seeing anything here but i don't know it seems something like not working or something but not allowed to love local resource so the problem actually was in in the create window so when we create when we try to actually create the window we can't access the resources or under the main.js which means under the main process so we need like to wrap this up on a function into the main.js then on this function we can export it using the node.js export uh, modular if you are familiar with node.js if not make sure to like check this out before continuing so the export modular and we just export a function so then whenever we require that on our code we can easily call the create new window and create a window and what this actually does is takes a page and this page is the html file we want to render under the new window and a configuration and this is like the browser uh, window configuration we are here just setting a default one for the width and height and also the parent window here is just setting the main window as default one also if you you like specifically choose the parent window whenever you want to make the the new window as a child of a parent window so as simple as this how you can pass then it's all it does is just uh, lay out the url and create a new window browser window instance and just return the new window whenever we call this function so now under our render.js we need to require it so just call main.js require let main application equals remote require make sure to like the um use the require uh, under the remotes 
so and call in the main or your main file in here and whenever it's uh, go all the way down on bots and dot eventually you know just main up and create a new window then pass in the uh, custom page html so the page you want to render out and do the button click so if i add some functionalities but doesn't really matter now this should work for us as I've said, it didn't work because of the main process. So we need to call the new browser window into the main process. So it knows when to initialize a new window with the like specific platform resources and stuff like this. So this is what we need to do for this. So now let's npm run start and test our button if it works. Or not. Okay, now after we have got the window set up, all we need is just press the button and wait a little bit and boom we get our new window in here and it's child windows you can see when we when we click and or try to focus on the parent window we can so it prevents us which means this is a child of this window and we get the cut this custom page or this html custom page or html rendered on the new window as simple as that this is how it can be achieved also and another thing I want to mention, you can get this code from the GitHub repository, so feel free to check it out if you really want to, uh, because it's going to be very, very helpful if you are starting new with Electra right now. So this is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one.